on TikTok or just on Instagram, there's been this new trend of this guy, or I think a bunch of guys going around different parts of the UK, main cities, London, Manchester, Liverpool, Newcastle, whatever it may be, and recording these nightlife videos where you just rock up your camera and you take videos of people going in and out of clubs, right? Or coming in and out of bars, just in the city centre. Oh, we're doing this for club. Hey, bro. Club's Hey, do you want to break my heart for free? Hey, boy. Hey, let's go this way. Let's go this way.
And I don't know, at first they they seemed pretty cool. They were like an anthropological study um, of society and the different trends, especially if you compare those videos to like people who record videos, you know, in some, you know, Main Street in fucking, I don't know, is that Texas or wherever that place is in Austin or in Miami or in places like, you know, in Korea and shit and maybe in places like Japan and comparing it to other places in Europe, it's quite cool to see the difference in trends and the similarities and shit with people in nightlife. I guess... For some reason, it's now evolved into this other conversation around these videos being creepy. I never got the creepy thing because, you know, it's not illegal to film people outside in public. And if anything, like I said, if, if what the comments I saw were a lot of people saying, oh, shit, there's actually a, quite a lot of flipping attractive women in, in England. Because I think people always assumed for some reason all of our women look like fucking, um, you know, Susan Boyle or something. So they were quite impressed to see the range of the different types of women that you see out in London and shit. And just in general, just as a voyeur myself, it was just quite fun to just to see people, you know, going in and out of clubs and we're doing what they're doing. But I guess if you're the women in, in the videos, it can seem a bit strange when you're like rocking up to go to a club and you see some white, you, it's obviously a white dude, but you see some guy with his tripod just standing there recording you as you're going in and out of clubs. It can be a little bit unnerving. So I guess now it's becoming like a thing. And the BBC have did this report where they're saying women are feeling unsafe after being secretly and again i don't think it's a secret recording the guy actually uses if i'm not mistaken he uses an slr with a really long lens like it's not secret at all like he looks very bait i think someone took a picture of him it's like a short white looking dude um he uses a really long slr and he actually looks like a fed you know it's not like he looks like he's blending in like he's a hipster or something no he looks like an older dude who's just recording people so for some reason people don't like it and they're obviously I guess now trying to get it banned. I don't know. It's fucking bizarre. The, the, it's for me. It's like I understand the women's part of it feeling unsafe, but it's also another example of why we're such bad vibes. Like no one can just have some fun. You know, it's always got to be turned into this other thing. It's like, come on, bro. But anyway, let's read the article. Women in the northwest of England say they feel unsafe after videos taken of them on nights out without their knowledge have gained millions of views on social media and attracted a slew of misogynistic comments. So. <sighs> How are you going to protect people from how I know it's not nice to get misogynistic comments or abusive comments online, but how can you prevent that? It's almost impossible to prevent some guys from saying something shitty to you online. And especially if it's somebody else's video of you in public, it's like, what can you do? Like, what do you want? Do you want to, do you want to, us to turn the internet into a police state? Like, be careful what kind of authority you're trying to welcome in because that could have some really far-reaching ramifications. I understand why they're upset about it, but let's, you know, let's rein it in a bit. Police say they're now trying to actively trying to catch the person making the videos. <laughs> why are they good? catching to do what? To see other videos of other people walking down the street? Like, they're asking anyone who's been filmed to come forward. Meg23 of Manchester was a victim of the disturbing, disturbing social media trend. <sighs> The makeup artist and TikTok influencer said she was filmed on a night out in Manchester. She said she did not realize she was being filmed until she saw she was sent a link on the video. I didn't see him. I didn't know I was going to be recorded. I can't believe I'm being targeted in that way. He looked at me and thought, yeah, I'll video them. It's not that deep. He just stands outside of club. Honestly, I've seen the video of him. Someone took a picture of him. He there's some videos of him where he's literally standing in the middle of the road. It's not, he's not, it's not like not bait. He has a tripod. He has like a big fucking SLR with a massive lens on it. It's not like he's recording you with like a fucking pinhole camera or something. The video footage, as you can see from the screen grab, is really good. Like that's a lens that is able to bring in a lot of light, you know, it's capturing them in their full essence. Like that's just not some, you know, run of the mill thing. So if you didn't see him, it's because, you know, you're paying attention to where you're going, which makes sense. But let's not make it seem as like he was recording you secretly. It's like, hmm. Um... And also, you haven't been told, like, this victim complex, I've been targeted. Tar like, ugh, come on, give it, give it a rest. Meg said she was filmed while walking down Deansgate with two women she did not know. 
she had noticed that they were harassed by a group of men and offered to walk with them. I just walked with them to get a taxi so we were all together. I just ended up having a little conversation with them. The video of Meg was posted later that night by a stranger. It's one of a dozen uploaded on a platform like TikTok and YouTube. The clips were, which are often titled Manchester Nightlife or Liverpool Nightlife have racked up millions of views along with an abundance of misogynistic comments. I have no words really other than it's just made me feel a bit sick. Honestly, man, people are so fucking sensitive so sensitive it's unreal i understand if like the videos are getting pervy like you know you know what pervy videos look like but somebody filming you from afar while you're on your way to the club is dumb especially when you're you decided to wear what you don't like i don't know if this oh it's a violation of what i'm wearing it's like but everyone's seeing it so what's the difference between people seeing in a club and someone seeing on a video that they recorded outside especially if you're not being tagged no one like i don't i don't know i think all this has been blown out of proportion to be honest until there's actually a threat trying to preempt the threat and trying to make it seem like this guy is a what is a pedo or a creep because he's standing outside in public and record it's like then if he's a creep then what, what are we going to do next are we going to stop those guys who i think people probably would though those guys who ask people questions on the street and shit is that, is that, is that the same thing because they start recording you before they even ask you permission so are we, are we going to start with them as well or is it just a guy recording these videos i don't know um, it's just not nice at all and obviously not just in a selfish way but also towards other women yeah true that's what you care about all of them are really really young <laughs> Uh, isn't that more of their issue? Whose issue is it that these young girls are going out at night and then going to the nightclubs? Shouldn't you be going to the clubs and telling them to stop letting young girls in so they will stop going outside so that he can stop recording? Oh, God. Maybe even underage girls not knowing that they're being recorded. The videos of the girls feel like falling over and having their underwear. But it's not the same as that, though, because they're not showing their... Un Honestly, this woman is fucking pissing me off. The videos of the girls are, is like falling over and having your underwear on show and stuff. Then being posted online like that, something needs to be done about it. But it's not the same though, because you're walking down the street clothed in your outfit you're going out on. That's not the same thing as tripping over and everyone seeing your knickers. Like, what? Great, imagine the police say it's actively working to catch the people making the videos. Catch the people, it's one dude. <laughs> Uh, they're acting as if he's fucking as if he's jack the ripper or something man this motherfuckers need to relax um officers are being briefed on the situation if you if you if you want to do something maybe rest trying to arrest the people that are leaving you the bad comments but you know trying to arrest this guy making it seem like he's fucking you know some serial killer is insane um da -da -da -da. A lot of people speak on their phone as though they're walking past. We don't know if they're videoing or not, if it's going up the street. So it's been quite... Oh, but that's not true. Okay, now they're making it seem like he's on the phone video recording them. That angle, this angle that I've got on screen now where he's facing three girls, that's not him pretending to record it on his phone. That's clearly somebody has set up a camera on a tripod or is holding it very still. That's not how you get a video of somebody. If you've ever recorded on the slide with your phone on your ear, that's not how the phone turns out. It doesn't turn out that way, the pit the video. That's somebody recording it with quote unquote professional equipment. Fucking hell, even the police are chalking out of their ass. We don't know if they're video or not, if they're going to the street, so it's quite hard. We don't know. It's easier to know. Come on, police officers. Oh, anyway, PC Su said one woman had approached him about being filmed. Exactly. What'd she say? She said he had a little, like, Ray-Ban glasses at the corner of his camera that flashed red. He, what? He had Ray-Ban and, and at the corner of his... That's what a camera does. She said he had, like, Ray-Ban glasses on and at the corner was a... Oh, they're saying he was recording it with fucking... um google lenses the facebook the face fucking snapchat cameras so it's like the ray-ban was it ray-ban snapchat i don't think that's true though the footage of it is good i've seen it but it's not that good this is an slr so they're alleging that the guy is wearing these glasses these collaborations between ray-ban and snapchat that have um cameras in them that are really good now before they look kind of clunky but now they look really good i don't believe it I don't think that's 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 true. I think he's actually just wear have a regular camera in his hand and he's just, you know, out here filming hoes. But yeah, I don't know, man. These girls are just complaining about nothing. Um blah blah blah. 
see um one of the comments here on the actual post somebody said busiest std sti clinics in the uk never thought the uk has such beautiful women so we have a problem with these comments. If you want to ban somebody, try and get whoever this guy is. And again, is that is that is that a crime to say this? Like to make this comment? Is that is that a criminal offence? Should you be locked up for saying busiest STD STI clinics in the UK? Like what? We're locking people up for speech now. Yeah, is that what we're going to be doing? Cool. Chief Executive Stephen Wiggins of the GMP City of Manchester Central District urged anyone who's been filmed off. Don't, look, at, he actually looks like he could do the filming. I'm sorry. Chief Stephen Wiggins looks like he's the one at the end of the camera or he's on the other side of the camera. So trusting him to deal with your issues is probably a bit risque. He's probably recording you while you're talking to him. We are very much up against it. We don't we don't get that intelligence, that information coming from the actual victims' communities themselves. We have interviewed we intervened recently on a number of occasions where we had males acting suspicious in a city centre. So our plea for the organization, people to ring us if they see anything suspicious behavior in the city and we'll make sure that we will be there. Charlotte from Trafford Rape Crisis. Jesus, what an organization. Trafford Rape Crisis is calling on social media platforms to shut accounts down. She said victim blaming nature of the comments made it harder. It absolutely is a direct casual link to sexual. What? She's saying there's a link to that to sexual violence. It absolutely is a direct link to sexual violence. Huh? These sort of victim blaming com com commentaries introduce another level of shame. That's because of a barrier to women accessing support. TikTok and YouTube said that they have removed a number of videos and accounts related to the content, violating guidelines. A TikTok person said misogyny is prohibited. So, what's the difference between this video and the people that film those like walking tours? What's the difference? The ones that do like, oh, walking through Reykjavik walking through Krakow, walking through Prague, walking through, pa like, what's the difference between that and this? Exactly. Honestly, I don't know. I get it's unnerving. I get it's weird if you're a girl to see suddenly yourself on a night out, you know, because you don't, you know, you don't usually get that type of footage of yourself, right, in general. Um, you, try, you just basically go out and come back out. Sometimes you don't actually even take pictures of it. So you just want to go out, have a good time and come back home. So kind of seeing yourself on video on a night out can be a bit weird, especially if you didn't record it. But I don't know, man. People need to relax. People need to fucking relax. It's not that deep. But again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm fucking wrong.